All right, this is a troubleshooting video showing uh, it is 54 degrees in the van. The battery should be close to that. Uh, the inverter hasn't been turned on in 24 hours. Um, very little solar coming in on a rainy day, but it is 13.3 volts resting. Here is the battery, the solar charge controller, and the inverter, and the DC the DC charger. Right now, the only DC loads we have are the refrigerator on and the puck lights. So very little amperage draw. So I'm gonna turn on the inverter and I will try and keep the voltage. And as you see, the voltage has gone under 10 volts. I'm getting an under voltage warning. The puck lights have dimmed in the car. And I'm still getting the voltage at 9.3 as it attempts to turn on. Let's turn it off. I'm going to turn it on. I'll wait. Voltage has dropped down to 9.5 and, and it doesn't look like it's going to rise. Again, same event. All right, this is how I troubleshoot it. I start the vehicle up, come back here. We'll see that we'll begin to charge very quickly. So right now the voltage is at 13 and a half, 13.6. I can turn off car. All the 12 volts are working. We're at 13.6. After a very short charge, as it settles, probably back down to 13.3 again. I'll turn on the inverter. No under voltage code. The voltage stays stable at 13.4. And I can run a load on it at this time. All right, I'm going to run a load. It's an induction cooktop. I believe up to 2,000 watts. So it's turned on. We have an induction. We have a induction capable pan in there. Turned it to five halfway. That's higher than I actually ever use it. Um, so that should be about 1,400 watts right now, and you can hear it running. The voltage has gone down to. 13 and will be pretty stable at that 13. I can run this induction cooktop for about an hour before seeing noticeable dips into the 12 and a half and that's a pretty high wattage draw and that would be expected. So it has no problem running a high load keeping the inverter on but I do have to do that troubleshooting where I have to charge the battery after uh, it goes into a low voltage state after not using for 24 hours. So at this point, I don't know if there's a dead cell in the battery or there is a some sort of capacitor that's allowing a very, very high amperage draw at startup, which causes both of these to either fail at the same time. But yes, the inverter does work without any flaws if I don't get that initial under voltage startup. So right now we're at 12, 9, 12, 8, but that's pretty expected. And I can run that for, like I said, up to an hour 